Hey guys, real quick, this short video is sponsored by Duke Cannon. Get some of their cologne and don't smell like a little bitch. A woman will thank you for it, trust me. Click the link in the description and get free shipping on orders over $25. Um, so this this uh, this group is form, was formed out of a, a group of men studying, uh, I, I don't know if you're familiar with him, um, it's Corey Wayne. I, I've looked up the the title and the thing. I haven't read the book. Oh, okay. Well, so so we're all students of Corey Way. I mean, we all we we dabble everywhere else too. You know, we we have we we like having other dating coaches on, get different perspectives. But one mm -hmm. of the things that he teaches in his book is uh, that men shouldn't push for a relationship because sometimes men are a little too over eager to jump into a relationship. And sometimes that scares women off. So he recommends just sort of waiting until she brings it up. And usually women are like, we'll bring it up subtly, you know, like, you know, we hang out a lot. Where's this going and stuff. And that's sort of your key to then say, well, what do you mean by that? You know, and yeah. <laughs> try to get it out of her. And then, yeah. then you can, it's okay to discuss that. What do you, what do you think about that? Yeah. Without having read the book to hear all the nuances, I would fundamentally disagree with that. Okay. I just stand for a whole different version of a man. If you know that you want a relationship, it doesn't mean you have to come off needy and desperate. Okay. It just means you, I look, I look at you and I know you and I want you, I want to be with you. Mm -hmm. You know, how do you feel about this? You know what I mean? So knowing who you are and what you want is not the same as I'm lonely and desperate and I can't handle not having a girlfriend and being the relationship addict that I was. Okay. which my first book is all about. Okay. Um, I could not be alone. I jumped. I was never out of an intimate relationship from the age of 16 to 45, not a okay. single day Yeah, because they overlapped, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So I did a few things like that. Um, so I would just stand for if a man knows what he wants and that he is into this girl, it doesn't mean you push her to take a step or to make a commitment that she's not ready. Okay. It just means you reveal to her where your heart is and what you want and how you're feeling. And then you give her the space to say, I'm not ready for that. Or I'm right with you. Mm -hmm. Or what took you so long? <laughs> yeah, right? okay. But I really do think the masculine creates a clarity of, of direction, of purpose. It, it, it removes ambiguity. Got it. Um, okay. Now, sometimes we guys, we don't, we're not sure what we want, but mm -hmm. we can say that, you know, I'm not real. I'm not really sure yet. Um, if a relationship conversation comes up, um, I'd like to go on a few more dates and kind of just spend time together and casually and just get to know each other. Cause I, I don't, I don't want to jump into something cause I've done that. And sometimes I do it prematurely and then that backfires. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm come from the camp of being real simple. Don't okay. play games. Just be honest. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean you're you're being needy. That that you know is yeah. That's a different story. Women, good women, are turned off by a guy that that when she feels like the guy almost can't live without her, kind of uh -huh. thing. Like he really needs her. Then she doesn't feel his power. She doesn't feel he's a rock. Right. He's silly putty. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think we're we're the we're Corey's. Um, method sort of helped me though, because I, I was also sort of addicted to relationship, right? Like if I got a girl that agreed with me or agreed to go out on a date with me, I was like, okay, got a live one here. I'm going to focus all my attention on her and okay. I got one date. All right. Let's try to get another date. All right. Yeah. Well, where are we going here? You know? And I was, yeah. <laughs> I was immediately pushing for a relationship. So I felt like Right, just sort of taking a step back and giving it a little more time actually helped me out. But I guess I absolutely. Yeah. Now that problem. now that you've said it that way, I'm tracking with that uh -huh. because that speaks of your own sort of emptiness. Like I need some, I need you to fill this place in me. So the minute I feel a connection, I'm just going to swarm you. Right. Let's go out. Let's do this, and then she can feel like this doesn't feel like kind of healthy chemistry healthy dance. This feels more like there's something else here yeah. that doesn't feel as psychologically um, trustable, I guess I would say. So in, in the way you describe it there, yeah, that's more of, I, I it's, it's more like I, I'm an alcoholic. I haven't had a drink in a month and I just came across <laughs> a beer. Yeah. It's like, fill it again, 
they can, again. They can again. sense that. They can sense that <laughs> right. for sure. I think, right. but like, I mean, I've, I've completely broken that habit. So I think your, your, you know, your method would work yeah. just as fine, you know, cause I, I, cause I'm not that needy man anymore, but what's up brother. If you like this clip, go back and listen to the full episode. I guarantee you'll love it. Visit my channel. If you haven't done so already, subscribe now. If you prefer to listen to longer episodes in audio format, the podcast is available on all major podcast platforms.